has to be sunny here and it has to be crappy in Arkansas. But we're here once again for another episode of the Reno and Doc Show. That is a very sad Panthers fan, Reno. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, Carolina lost their first game. And I am wondering why the stadium is so freaking blue. I don't get it, but... Well, they ought to be blue because they lost the first game yesterday. What, too soon? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> well, we are well, go drink a Go drink a blue beer in the, in the Panther in Bar. The Carolina Stadium. And we're going to spend a little time talking about Carolina. Now, they stayed undefeated through most of the season, including beating Dallas. And the fact that they got all the way to meet the Falcons for a second time, but this time lost. Close game, though. Oh, yeah, 20-13. to 13. Yeah. However, when they first met, met the Falcons, which was two weeks ago, it was 38-0, Carolina beating them. Now, how'd they go from beating the Falcons 38-0 to losing 2013? I'm not sure, but it happened. I don't know either. But, uh, you know, all out, they've had, they're having a real good season. But, str- but strangely and oddly enough, they're, I mean, even though they have probably the best record in the NFL, they're not the number one team, which makes no friggin' sense. Uh, that part kind of confuses me, too, but either way. I mean, I, I read something earlier about the Arizona Cardinals supposed to be number one or something like that, and I'm like, I'm like, how really? are they number one in the division when Carolina's got the better record? But Carolina will probably take that if they win next week. Yeah. So Carolina needs to be able to pull out a victory next week. Yep. And so we are here at the stadium, you know, checking it all out. and We've checked out the spas and all that. The spas? Oh, yeah, these guys got great spas in there. You remember seeing that, them little things into the ground, the spas they had? In no, I didn't walk in there. I was afraid I was going to see one of the players in there relaxing. Oh, they got spas. Oh, you must have enjoyed what you saw. Cam Newton in there just kicking oh, no. back, relaxing. Cam Newton was the one telling me, go ahead, man. You just want the spas. Relax. Nobody was there. I got to sit in one of the spas and relax. I'm like, thanks, man. He's like, hey, yeah, go for it. Yeah, now you like Cam Newton. Oh, I still ain't fond of him, but. Yeah. I mean, the guy's having a good, you know, him and the Carolina Panthers having a good year. I haven't been very fond of him, but let's hope they do good next week against, you know, the the Buccaneers. Like I said, you know, I, I, when I got the little chance to talk to Cam, I asked him about that loss, and all he could say was, you know, it was just a bad game. He said it was not the way, way they wanted it to go. It was just a horrible game. And then he said, get out, because he's about to get out of the hot tub. <laughs> oh, no, he, he never stayed in there. I stayed in the hot tub while he went relaxed. I got out, then he went in there. Both of them were in there at the same time. It's kind of weird. When I got out, he went in there. But, he, took, um, he took two chicks with him. I was like, ain't you married? He said, nope. <laughs> Smart man. And if you say so. Okay. Uh, Most of, from people who know about my marriage, I can say he's a smart man. And my wife was a bitch. <laughs> hey, he had, he had two. I guess what you'd say... Black girls with him that were Carolina Panther cheerleaders going in the spa with him. I can't really blame the man. Until they wind up pregnant, and then he's in a <laughs> lot of trouble. Oh, goodness. going to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers next week, which is, uh, I believe, we're going to get an email about that here shortly because uh, one of our viewers slash good friends sent us an email, and, yeah. Did you, did you talk to the coach, though, like you wanted to, or...? Oh, he kept getting my name wrong. What did he say about the loss? Well, let's just say he kind of said, spit happens. Shit happens, all right. (laughs) Well, I mean, he's right about that. It does happen. All right, well, let's see this email you got. Did you get it? All right, get it here in just a second. Yeah, it's from a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan. I will not reveal his name, but, well, again, let's just say his name name rhymes with... um, uh, uh, Keevan uh, Grice. Okay, we know what you're talking about. I hope my Buccaneers run over your Panthers so badly they can't even recover. I hope my Buccaneers slice and dice your Panthers and wear their skin as a coat. It's He's graphic. Uh, I hope my I hope my Buccaneers. Ah, going to eat your Buccaneers. Da, 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 da. So on and so they forth. Consider Buccaneers to be a lunch. Your your Carolina Panthers nothing more than a etc etc. Can't read that. Uh, uh, your 
your Panthers eat blankety blank and ever and on and on and on and on. Okay. Well, to uh, Keevan Dreis, um, that's your opinion. It's <laughs> all I get. Reno, would you like to respond to Mr. Keevan Dreis? Panthers is going to eat up the Buccaneers, Stephen. No, it's, well, according to the email, it's Keevan. <laughs> Same guy. <laughs> But Panthers are gonna rock the Buccaneers. But anyway, uh, yeah. You know, again, it's kind of kind of nice here in Carolina. It seems sunny. Yeah, won't last long. <laughs> winter's it's all cloudy as hell, but sunny here in Carolina. It's winter is coming, and it's coming with a vengeance. No doubt. But we have more emails to read. This one is from David in Indiana. Nyan 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 nyan. Nya, your Panthers suck. Screw you. Wow. Okay. And this one comes to us from this campy's room, Linus. In uh, also in Indiana. Your Panthers suck. My team will beat your Panthers. Yeah, the Indianapolis like coach sucks worse. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Indiana, but okay. Well, either well way. Indianapolis is in Indiana. That's true. That's true. Sorry about that. Uh, this one comes to us from uh, Stanley in California. Raiders rule. Oh, God. Raiders suck. All right. <laughs> Got another one here from, <laughs> from Kevin in Michigan. Why do my Lions suck? I don't know, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's hard to say. I mean, I'm still happy my Bears finally beat the Packers, you know, this year. So, isn't that kind of a, isn't that kind of weird though? You know, the the Packers meet the Bears the first time this year. Packers beat the Bears pretty badly. Packers and Bears meet again. Bears beat the Packers but in a close game. Yeah, I mean, that's... Panthers meet the Falcons and romp all over them. First time rematch. Around. Panthers beat the fa- weird. The Falcons beat the Panthers. Yeah. Kind of, kind of hard for you to say that, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> oh, Lordy. This one comes to us from, oh boy, your cousin. My Steelers will romp all over your Panthers. Your Steelers ain't even going to make the playoffs. <laughs> uh, by the way, you still owe me on that one game we bet on. What's he talking about? I have no idea. You no know idea? Okay. I think he's just trying to get money out of you, but who knows? Probably the, like the spades we played years ago, but hell. I think I owe him a bunch of pennies. <laughs> uh, so much hate for you for being a Panthers fan. Oh, it's from Kid Behind the Camera. <laughs> what do you want, fat ass? <laughs> I may live in North Carolina, but... Panthers suck. Oh, wow. <laughs> Coming from a man who was caught in his room playing with dolls. They were wrestling figures. <laughs> Still dolls. <laughs> He's probably fucking them, too. <laughs> oh, God. We got one from, I think it's your Uncle Terry in Amarillo. Support a better team, loser. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> I haven't seen so many hateful emails in my life. <laughs> my God. Uh, I think he likes Carolina, so we don't like who the quarterback is. One from Anthony in, in Illinois. Duh, Bears. You say wow. so? That's not a hateful remark to uh, Carolina Panthers. Uh, I got one from Corey in, in Indiana. Oh, Lord. Colts rule, Panthers drool. <laughs> yeah, that's why Colts are not going to see the playoffs this year. Uh, excuse me, we've got a couple couple more to read off really, really quick. From Hank in Ireland. That doesn't even exist. Oh, well. Texas rules, Panthers drool. <laughs> what are you, a fucking Cowboys fan? I don't know. And finally, oh, one from your brother, Ryder. How about them Panthers? They suck. Ah, <laughs> uh, Panthers kick those Cowboys' ass. Wow. Is your bro- is Ryder a uh, pan- uh, Cowboys fan? 
I think he likes Cowboys, but he definitely knows Carolina's doing real good. I mean, even he thinks like I do, they're going to go to the Super Bowl and win it. All and right. I still think they're going to make the Super Bowl and win it. And I think he still does too. I mean, it's just it, one loss ain't, ain't hurting them. They've had a good season. All right, well, gang, that's going to do it because I'd love to continue reading more of your hateful Panthers emails, but maybe we'll do that another time. We got to get out of here. We'll see you guys for the next episode of the Reno and Doc Show, and please hit that subscribe button on this channel because if you don't, the Panthers may go to the Super Bowl. (laughs) We'll see you guys later. (laughs) Peace out.